And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir Spiders. This is a deck that I enjoy playing basically because I like playing Vladimir. Uh, this has been a fun champion to play. Five mana, five, five, whenever you attack for each other attacking ally, you do one damage to it and one to the enemy nexus. So if you, uh, if you can attack with like six creatures at a time, uh, you know, Vladimir and five others, you do one damage to all five of those things, but then you also do five damage to your opponent. So that, that can just finish them off pretty quickly. And the other thing that I kind of like about this deck is there's a lot of tension. So we're trying to go wide to help out Vladimir and, you know, get a lot of creatures, but we're playing spiders where a lot of our, our creatures are just little one ones. Um, and so if we're doing one damage to them, they are dying. And so that's also, that's not like the best, but I don't know. It's not the worst either. It kind of it kind of works out. It kind of plays pretty well, even though there is some tension there and there are some awkward times with the attacking. But you know, like just the spider package is pretty powerful, um, especially when you start off. Like this is some of the best things you can do when you start off. You get two Elises, um, and so you, you know, we got our Elises, our Skitters, and you know, we're just kind of playing some some aggressive uh, Noxus cards as well. You know, Noxus gives us Precious Pet, Legion Rear Guard. Um, so yeah, that's that's what we're gonna be doing. Crowd favorite is a big part of our deck. When I'm summoned, you get plus one plus one for each other ally you have. And it's a two two trampler. So um, you know we got three other creatures. And that's a five five trample and so on. This is a big part of our deck for sure. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and play some games. We're just gonna be playing like ten games over in ranked. We are now in. Uh, not versus AI versus player. We are now in Masters ranked. This looks like we're number 286. The three decks that we're playing tonight aren't... They aren't, like, the best decks, to be honest. And, you know, like, so I'm not expecting to have the best records. I'm, I'm just kind of hoping to, to go about 500 today. So I'm hoping to do. But they're decks that are fun to play. Uh, at least the first two, we've played them before. The third one's going to be a brand new deck. I'm trying... I'm going to try card pack mentality with elites. I feel like it's going to be too slow and not work super well, but, you know, I want to try it. So here we go. Um, well, we got a one drop, two drop, three drop. We got a good trick. I think I'm just going to keep this. So, you know, we would mulligan each individual card. Colonel J.D. Bieber, thank you so much. Thanks for that reset. Not a, not a huge gap between tier one and tier three decks, really. Any any deck can win, can beat any deck, basically. There's not any decks that are like completely dominating. And if if there would be, and if they make a mistake on a card, say like an Oko, like you know they print like Oko which is just, you know, like something that just like really shouldn't have been printed whatsoever. They have like every month they have uh, patches where they kind of, um, where, you know, like they tune the cards kind of thing. Vox Mortis. Thank you so much. Vox Mortis says, thanks for bringing this awesome game to my side. I loved your magic stuff and I believe in you and Legends of Runeterra. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Fox, Fox Martiz. You the know, they have, like, the patches where they'll tune cards, you, you know, um, if, like, one card needs, you know, it, it's, like, one one toughness too, mu too many or one power too few, you know, like, they'll, they'll tune them a little bit, but not, like, to the point where they're unplayable if they were played a lot, like, kind of thing. So far, they, I think, like, I've only seen them do one patch in the open beta, and it was... It was a good, it was a good patch. It's too late for you. So this is five damage right now. Yep, there's no paper copies, so yeah, they, it's just all digital. All right, so they're gonna do three to that thing. So we're going to do deal one to an ally to give another plus two plus two. Let's do that. Let's do one. So I can either do one to this thing that's just going to trade anyway, or I can do one to the two, three, which I'd want to do this because whenever it survives damage, it does two to the opponent. So I'm going to do one to... No, nah, we'll still do it to the, the thing that's going to die. 
because we're going to be able to like you know with vladimir and everything we're going to do damage to this crimson disciple anyway so, you know these are our life totals over here this is this is the mana so we each have two mana still um these are all spells that i don't really want to that nothing to cast so now this is the banked mana so now we have our two banked mana from from before plus the five for this turn and the the banked mana you can only use on spells not on creatures the dark beckons you must be lord vladimir and you must be you also get to see it's it's all best of one but you get to see what you know what factions that like what regions they're playing and what champions they have in their deck and so when you have your first mulligan decision it means you are you know basically what your opponent's playing or what their deck's going to kind of be like and so you get to make good mulligan decisions. You don't just, you're not, you know, you're not just like, oh, well, I just kept a hand against, that's good against control, and I played against aggro, and I got ran over. Or the other way around. No, yeah, the creatures are permanently damaged. Yep. So uh, even though there's not double blocking, you can have, like, you know, a 3-3 three, three block a 5-5, five, five, and then... You know, the next turn, block it with a 2-2 two, two and kill it. Some creatures have regeneration, though, and they'll fully heal at the start of each round. So that, so that is an ability that some creatures have. Rankler with the tier 3 awesome sub. Y'all get some hype votes for Rankler and the uh, nice happy... Weekend wishes. Okay. I am going to just pass. So see that was the problem. If I would have just gone to combat, like see that's that's the thing about like that's why this game's so skill intensive. So it looks like I should have just gone to combat because I played this three three and now they played a five five life linker. Um, this is ephemeral, so it just goes away at the end of the round. But so now I don't want to attack anymore. I I really wish I would have just gone straight to combat. Talk. The hour approaches. Yeah, so like you can pump if you use like a spell that pumps the toughness, even even if it says like pump toughness until end of turn, if it's damaged and you pump the toughness, it'll it'll just stay on even past end of turn because it it basically heals it. All right, um, another Vladimir, or that's just a regular transfusion. My hand's not really the best right now. It's just all these, you know, it's all these tricks and everything, and we're not in combat. I can kill their spider and get my own spider. Let's do that. They're going to sack it and draw two.
drain three. All right, so we will do one damage to the Vladimir and give this plus two plus two. So we've had five creatures survive damage now, so Vladimir is almost... You know what, let's just sack the spider and draw two. There we go. A crowd favorite. I stand for That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's go straight to combat this time. Uh, let's put the trampler first. My turn. Let's see what they're made of. And so there's the Vladimir triggers on the stack now. Now it's their turn to act. So right now the Vladimir trigger is going to be killing this 3-1 spider, and I don't really want that 3-1 spider to die, so I'm probably going to be casting another transfusion. But I think I can probably wait to see how they block and like what they do first. Because um, this is five five pumps, you know, give it gives only plus three, plus three, plus two, plus two. So I could turn this crowd favorite into eleven power trampler. And so right now this is gonna be doing four damage to them just with this ability, so it's like they're at nine. And then this would survive the damage. So that's another two. So they're basically at seven. They also can't block. Right now, they can't block either of these spiders. I will learn from you. You cannot escape. All right, bouncing that, and then deal one to all enemy units. Heal three. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, so let's do. Let's go one to this. Give this thing plus two plus two. And all right, so right now, so they're going to heal three, so that puts them to thirteen, or that puts them to sixteen. They take four, five, six, so that puts them down to ten. This is eight coming through, plus four, so that's twelve coming through. They gain two, so this is technically lethal right now. I can make it more lethal with this. Doesn't really matter where I put that on any of the, you know, I could put it really anywhere. Oh yeah, that's right, I, I forgot. Yeah, I can mouse over the eye and it'll tell me. But yeah, see, we put them down to negative three, so that plus three plus three, like they were going to zero anyway. There's the eye that just tells you exactly what's gonna happen after combat. All right, 600 XP. We're so close to this champion capsule. Well, the other two creatures, they couldn't block. The other two, the, the two that they didn't block, they just couldn't. So I don't know why they bounced the Vlad. They could have just bounced one of the other creatures. But the other two could only be blocked by creatures with power three or greater, and all their creatures were two twos. Do that. Um, all right, anyway, let's just get rid of all these. I want the crowd favorite. <laughs> there we go. Don't trust the eye. It's the eye of Mordor. What 
What do we have? We have Fiora. I should have played Elise last turn, not not the House Spider. But I want to go straight to attacks. I don't want to play Elise and let them play Fiora. Cause, so they haven't played anything, so they have the, the spell mana. Okay, so they're just going to play that, and then now they have the backup spell mana to protect it. Let me change into something more. Alright, but we got three other spiders, so Elise is going to flip. Always two steps ahead. I salute you. For the honor of God. Try me. Fast as wind, light as air. So they should be giving Fiora a barrier. Or not. Strike quickly, run. So it should be lethal. Because we can attack. Attack with that, attack with that, attack with that, attack with this. Attack with everything. And then because of Elise's ability, these have challenger, so we can tell them to block. So we're gonna tell this thing to block this over here and this to block this over here. Damage will happen left to right. So that's, you know, 13 damage right there. And then, you know, I can make it even more damage. Oh. All right, so that's going to do four damage to everything. That's fine. All right, so we're going to deal one, two this to give this plus two plus two so that's 12 and then we will I don't know, give this plus three plus three all right 15 Death by a Hey, what's up, Rank One? Welcome back. Yeah, new new name, new place. Uh, the pets, yeah, the dogs love the new place. They're yeah, they're they're loving it. Harvey's laying behind me. I don't know if y'all can see her or not. See, there's Harvey. Ah, the chair's in the way. <laughs> She's just looking at me like, what are you doing? She's got her, her little puppy bed. Ooh, we got a champion capsule. Let's go get our champion capsule where we're definitely going to open Katarina. Ooh, Katarina. Called it. All right, so we got a champion, two epics, and two rares, but this rare was an extra copy, so we just got shards. Awesome. All right, let's change regions. I could stay with. Um, I could stay with the epic wild card, or let's see, I could stay here to, to go towards the champion wild card in three spots. So that's not bad. Don't really need another champion wild card right now, though. The other regions I'd stayed on till level 18 with Freljord and Piltover and Zahn. I probably should. All right, we'll just we'll stay here. All right, so so far so good for Vladimir Spiders. We've had some good hands, good draws, and everything. 
some good tricks to finish out these games. Yeah, just talk, uh, basically talk with a friend whenever I was doing like the whole, uh, you know, Rad just asked what, what convinced you to try this game. Talking with a friend whenever I was doing like the whole moving stuff. Um, who was playing it and, and really, really liked it and tell me all about it and everything. And then, and so I was like, all right, I'll, I'll look it up. And then, you know, I looked it up and watched some videos and stuff and, and, you know, read about it. And I was like, yeah, this does seem awesome. And so then started playing it. Okay. So I'm going to keep the skitter and I think I'm just going to get rid of all this stuff for now. Get some more creatures. Let's look for some more creatures. Oh, did I update the decklist command? I did not update the decklist command, sorry. This is the decklist right there, Golden Scars. Sorry about that. I will do that now. Perfect, we got a one drop. So this is Spooky Karma, usually a slower deck. Yeah, absolutely, Josh. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that deck doesn't look like Vladimir. Alone, you see things as they truly are. Tread lightly, strike hard. All right, so same kind of deck. Reporting in. Wish we had our crowd favorite turn four again. Wow, that's a great draw. But I mean, they didn't necessarily just draw it, but it was a great play. Because mm. now all my cre now I have like pretty bad attacks. I guess I'll just bank this mana. Now this this deck I did not I did not make this deck to be honest. No, I did not. This one was on mobile addicts, but it's just Yeah, you know, it's just the traditional sp spider stuff. And you must so then with Vladimir. This is going to be a difficult It's gonna be kinda of difficult to get sixteen damage across. Like I just thought a very healthy life total. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. All right, so just going to combat. Uh, let's do one damage here. No. One damage here. Strength. I will wait. So they're at fourteen. Presumably, this is putting them down to ten. If I must. I think crowd favorites a huge part of this deck. You know, we had the two, we had crowd favorites both those first two games that we won. I think that's a, I think it really is an incredibly important card. This is the third time playing this deck. And I've noticed that the games that I have crowd favorite and the games that I don't, you know, much different win loss record. Yeah, absolutely, Golden Scars. Yeah. And that plus three plus three and ephemeral all right so right now they're taking i guess i can look at the eye so right now they're going down to one mm, that doesn't really work 
Right now they're going down to negative one. No instance. Nope, no instance. No. Now they go to seven. Why do you have to gain three life? Wait, is that going to be zero? Oh, that's down to negative one again. <clears throat> no. The body must thrive for the mind to be free. Tried so hard. All right, so basically this is going to work out pretty well for them. They're going to keep karma. And everything's going to die for me except for this crappy Legion rear guard. Gave it a try, though. They had to have three instants, and they did have three instants. Yeah, yeah, you definitely play against meta decks in gold, yeah. Um, I, I don't know, I've been playing it for about a month now. Um, but yeah, it definitely takes, it takes a while to rank up in this game, because the ranks don't just, like, reset all the time like a magic. Uh, so yeah, it take, does take a while to rank up. One candle for every sun. Uh, looks like they got this one now. They had seven cards in hand. Yeah, they played a health pot and gained three life uh, before, but then l just that, that last turn, they played something of drain four from an ally, and so they killed their own ally and gained four. Alright, that game's over. They're just gonna wrath our board and gain life. Yeah, there's there's no nerfs coming with this deck. Um, yeah, like the Darius version is like it's. This is not one of the best decks. Um, I wouldn't really say like if you if you want like a you know like try to get like the best tier one deck you can. This is not it. This is just kind of a, you know like this is a fun a fun deck to play and everything, but it's not. It's not one of the best decks. So. No, you can't get demoted from tears. They'll never see me coming. So, like, if you're gonna be like, you know, crafting one deck, would I recommend this one? Like, maybe not. But um, it's a pretty, as far as it's pretty easy craft. I know what lurks in the shadows. Hang on, Fuzzball. Hey. Get her out from the darkness. From. Uh, from, from like what you start with, you dare. and yeah, you can play like Darius instead of Vladimir, and you know Darius is just fine also with it with the deck, um, and you know you you start with Darius, you don't start with Vladimir, so I would probably recommend that at first instead of just like crafting Vladimir's. There's always a way out. All right, gonna drain that. Opponent surrendered. Green one. So basically, we're gonna 
kill their thing, make a 1-1 spider. We'd have the three spiders. We'd flip Elise. But it's not like this deck's bad. I mean, as you can tell, like, it's not a bad deck. We're getting some wins over here. But I don't want to. I don't want to oversell it. Yeah, Vladimir's in there just to do like a bunch of direct damage. You know, like whenever you attack with Vladimir and everything, it, it helps you get through blockers. You get like that direct damage trigger that can deal a lot of damage. And it's also just a five mana five five, like it's a really good body. Yeah, Elise is more important than Vladimir. So, Teemo decks, are they competitive enough with stacking the puff caps? Um, honestly, not, not really if you're going just all, like, try to go all puff cap. That's, that's honestly pretty tough. Um, I've tried a couple of different ways. It's, it's honestly pretty tough. Um, as far as a Teemo deck that that was competitive that i liked a lot that i played just the other day uh this deck right here there's the youtube video that's the link to it down below okay, but basically it was it the it was just like the kinku elusive deck but splashing for teemo as the one drop instead of splashing for omen hawk as the one drop and then with teemo you get you got a couple burn, you know you get a couple burn spells to help you finish games too and in that deck in the shadow you're not really focused on or reliant on the puff caps. The puff caps are just kind of in there to also help do some more chip damage for you. Could be a bad block on this one one. Reporting in. I could definitely see them having Vile Feast. Okay, maybe not. I'll do better this time. There's the Vile Feast. Wait, so they missed with their Wraith Caller? So we know they're drawing a Demacia card. I pull the strings. Hello, my darling. Asterania! Found you because of magic stayed because of you and your good work besides Legends of Runeterra. It's a really interesting game. Love it also. Thank you so much. We Asterania, that... Bite. That's very kind. Thank you very much for the sub. 
All right, so how are we gonna deal with all this stuff? Okay, I'm just gonna block over here. I assume you've come for me. I won't wait forever. Such a pretty. Yeah, um, it's, so young. ouch, that hurts. That's just something, it's really difficult for me to do that while I'm streaming, Blade. I just can't really do it while I'm streaming, you know, like, while I'm playing a game and everything. Um, yeah, Discord's good for that. Um. I'm, I'm going with a risky proposition here. I'm passing, which means I'm passing the turn. So if they don't play anything, they, they just get to have the next turn. But I kind of think that they're going to play something. Like, I don't think they're going to just... Wait, they have six cards. Like, I don't think they're just passing. Turn didn't go perfectly for me, but at the end of the day, they have the four three wraith caller and three cards, and I have these three cards, so I'm I'm a little behind. Now I'm a lot behind. So I'm down to seven. Really wish I had a, a flipped Elise. Come on. They had a dead Hecarim? When did they have a dead Hecarim? When did they ever have a Hecarim die? There's 
nothing to fear. I don't remember any Hecker of dying in this game. Really? If they just use that, that onslaught, that counts? Really? Why, why does that work like that? Why would that count? Yeah, they played the Hecarim spell and got a Hecarim. Is that how that's supposed to work? That was a bug that was supposedly that was supposed to be fixed. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Because, yeah, like, they just played the one Hecarim, and it was still on the battlefield, and then they played the Hecarim spell plus Rekindler, and they just get a new Hecarim. Hmm. Oh. Well, yeah, I guess they didn't... Okay, yeah, I guess they didn't fix that. Yeah, I hadn't... I hadn't heard of that before. These old eyes still see far and clear. Come closer. I don't bite. Hmm. I could see this going either way. I could see them trading, or, and I can also see them not trading. Show you what I can do. Just need a target. We're not in the best of spots. If only those seasons were as lovely as you. Spots got worse.
sama pernah lihat. <tuh> So let's see. This kills both of their blockers. Only does 8 damage to them. I have 5 creatures left, so a crowd favorite is going to be a 7-7. Seven, seven. Also, the Elise will flip. Elise does go down to 1 health. So pretty easy to kill Elise now. Like I said, pretty easy to kill these from there. Tell me where to aim. In Avarosa's name. I salute you. The Ezreal deck that we're playing against is a deck that is basically built to beat small creatures like this is this is the exact kind of matchup that an Ezreal deck wants to face you know we're playing of course small creatures so this is perfect for them but we were doing pretty good that that last turn was was awful <laughs> from them having the one mana removal for um, Elise and then that turn. Could not have gone worse. A chill in the air. The people are my strength. Still couldn't go worse. I got ways to find in mushrooms. Glory. There won't be a warning shot. My best case scenario is basically that, that the 4-4 doesn't block the 6-6. Six, six. Darn. Look out for Reavers. If they just basically made this attack as if they they had anything else but the 4-4 block the 6-6, six, six, we were going to have lethal with the Mark of the Isles. So with them having all these cards and everything, you know, I have to try to finish the game out. I basically That Mark of the Isle, basically all it did was it dealt 2 damage. Um, and got a Vladimir trigger, which Vladimir is going to level up now. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start to die. I am Lord and Master! I've dressed for the occasion in red. I got ways to find in mushrooms. 
That's a lot of mushrooms. So, I guess they don't have an Ezreal, because they probably wouldn't have cast that if they had an Ezreal. They need Harsh Winds. I'm, I'm really hoping they don't have Harsh Winds. That's the card they need. Well, I guess this could possibly kill them. Now they could they could use Thermogenic Beam, but that would tap them out. So that Thermogenic Beam wouldn't help. Okay, they're going to get excited this thing and Thermogenic Beam. That would help them. Or get excited this thing. Yeah, if they have like Mystic Shot plus... Mystic Shot or get excited plus Thermogenic Beam, they can survive. I'm hoping they don't. So now Harsh Winds doesn't matter. Their deck probably only has two Thermogenic Beams, and they've already played one. They could maybe have, you know, they could, obviously they could have three Thermogenic Beams, but they probably only have two. That does keep them alive. That puts them down to one. What? I could have just blocked with both and gone down to one. Vlad Spider is getting it done. Crowd favorite being pretty big. Really helping. We got the attack token first turn. That's pretty great. I'll do better this time. What is the 231 me in the rank? That means um, you know, like number one is the best you, you can be. Um, you know, so like we're you want to go toward you know you want to be number one. So we're number 231 in I guess in the, the North America server. Cause there's there's different rankings for different servers. So we're number so number two hundred and thirty one in North America. That's what it means. We got a nice fast start. I stand for Noxus. It's like Mark of the Isles, right? Like what? Like they have like double Mark of the Isles or something? Okay. Oh, Mark Blackspear. All right. You got me. Traded three, you know, like they still traded away three cards, you know, for that crowd favorite. They got rid of their, well, I guess one was a half card. This frenzied skitter is so good. So 
So if I attack, they take four. And then what are their blocks? They take four. They would have three, three, block two, two, three, three, block Elise, four, two, block here. I will wait so they would ever. kill basically everything. We would trade Elise and Legion Rearguard for just the Mist Wraith, but then they would take eight damage and go down to three. We trade off our board for that. Trade three for one. Nah. That's not worth it. Come closer. I don't bite. I'm hoping to draw a spider that costs two or less. Right now, I'm not going to be flipping a lease by making this block. Well, they had their second and third Mark of the Isles. So I guess I die. That was pretty great. It's a disappointing end to that game. That's for sure. Disappointing end. So only Teemo with Teemo and Ionia. I would normally send back Vilefeast, but I guess Vilefeast is perfect against Teemo, so we'll keep it. Getting the fearsome creatures out to attack with first. I can. I can just file feast on their turn.
You got shut down by elusives. I think we have a. I think our elusive matchup is just fine. We can hit really hard. Hang on, Fuzzball. Hey. But of course, so can they. Everything's better with company. Says you. Are they gonna kill me this turn? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, they very well could. I need to. I actually have to do this to draw a removal spell because all all they have to do is play a creature and I'm dead. So if I play, so if I play a creature, then I, no, we need to draw removal. We need to draw vile feast. Nope. Yeah, that was just an amazing hand again. All three of those that two drop. Dang, I really did not think we were going to be losing that. That was pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah, usually usually that's what we want to play against. Like usually we do really good against elusives. Uh I wouldn't say that, Cyan. I wouldn't say that aggro is too strong in, in Legends of Runeterra. Our our deck that we're playing is not anything special. I'm playing a, a weaker power level deck to have some fun. Like you know, I as You'll know I play different stuff all the time. Just want to play some Vladimir Spiders today. And so at the beginning video, I was saying that I wanted to wanted to be around 500. But these last two losses, you know, like we were doing better. Those last two losses really hurt. Um Yeah, I don't I don't know if if Green Gate Green Glade Duo needs to be one one, I'm not sure. The best card in uh, Best card in like these elusive decks that's you know that's everywhere that fits a lot of different places is Shadow Assassin. Like that's the card. Three mana two two draw card elusive, that card is so good. Now you've gone and upset it. No suffering, so we may end it. It fits everywhere. I guess I don't really have to attack with Elise. Cause I don't. I, I have the mark of the Isles, but I don't want to mark the Isles Elise. Not escape. Oh right, they can't. They can't block. Anyway, like I said, if I would have attacked, we would have dealt two, but then they would have gained two. Let me change into something more. Come together. How do they even survive this? How are they supposed to survive this? Right. Judgment. Man, I'm so dumb. This is the most obvious judgment. I just walked right into that.
No, I'm very dead. Yeah, I need to get I need to get with it. Man, that's that was just such a horrible mistake by me. Like that was that was a terrible mistake by me. Such an easy easy call that was just very obviously gonna be judgment. No, yeah, so they were playing a one sided board white plus gain all of their life back. And I didn't I couldn't really stop it. I walked right into it. Just walked right into that. All right, it's our last match, so we're gonna try to win this and get back to 500 on our losing streak now. So we got Draven plus Ezreal. Ezreal is whenever you target, yeah, enemy units. So yeah, if you use the spinning axes. Yeah, you can't target the opponent with spinning axes either. How spiders good draw? <clears throat> I don't want to trade off the house spiders because of the crowd favorite, so we don't have to play them before combat. So we'll have 5-5 five, five crowd favorite now, then untap 6-6. Six, six. Normally I'd want to just trade two twos, <clears throat> but because of the crowd favorite, I don't really want to. Wish we would have one more mana next turn to be able to have transfusion along with crowd favorite. The people are my strength. Where'd you get your title? They do refunds. We'll see if we can finish this out. They got lots of mana over there. They got eight mana. Nice to have these things. Okay, this is a good draw. Time for a true display of skill. Come closer. I don't bite. So 
So assuming they're gonna hit me with Ezreal, get a Mystic Shot, Mystic Shot my 5-2. And so we'll use a transfusion to keep it alive. But gonna keep the other transfusion here in case they have another mystic shot. Which they do. That's unfortunate. Okay. Let's get draw. That can help protect the crowd favorite from a removal spell. So this puts them down to three. Which mark of the Isles is, of course. Plus three, plus three. I'd like them to have like another mystic shot try to kill yeah crowd yeah like that try to kill this so then I get to use the plus three plus three to save it and I'm hoping that's lethal now like I'm hoping they don't have another burn spell Come on, they had another one. Bleh. Well. They don't know what they're up against. I feel like we've gotten some pretty poor luck these last few games. I mean, I, I was, I mean, that was a really good top deck, but opponents have kind of had, had it all these last couple of games. <laughs> this game is just over from here. All right, well, we started off so good, and we were we were four and two, and I thought, like, for sure we were going to win that next one, and we lost, and then the next one I thought for sure we were going to win also, and we lost. Both of those were real rough losses. What's up, Mike? Thanks for that resub. So both of those were real, real rough losses to get us to four and four, and then we went to the next one, and I was for sure that we were going to win that one also. And then I, I didn't play around Judgment, the only card that could that could beat me. And opponent had it, of course. They set it up. And then that last one happened where I was pretty... Uh, at that point, after those three matches in a row, I was pretty disheartened. But this deck's fun to play, and it's pretty strong. And... Um, you know, like our, our four and six was really close to being a lot better record. Crowd favorite, of course, was awesome. Um, you know, because that's what this deck needs. Like, you need, like, the crowd favorite Vladimir to just kind of finish out those last points of damage. Um, Skitter, of course, was amazing whenever we did have it. Um, it's a good deck. It's a good deck. It's not It's not amazing. Um, you're, you know, you're not going to have, like, an too much um you're not gonna really have like an 80 percent win rate with this deck probably not but um it's pretty easy to build um but still pretty strong 
All right, so that's Vladimir Spiders. So those of y'all watching later on on YouTube, I uh, hope you hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Um, you know, let me know what you think of the deck and that kind of stuff. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.